Alright folks, uh, oh, but blow back for another Transformers review. Uh, just now I'm going to be doing for you G1 Optimus Prime as you can see in front of you. Um, decided to do this guy as a dedication to the actual re-release of him. Uh, 25th anniversary edition has just been released. Um, this isn't in fact that version, this is actually the commemorative series they brought out a little while back. Um, as you can probably tell by this kind of, I don't know if you see it too well, but I'll show you later. Short smoke stacks. So here we have Prime and his kind of... Um, Cab truck mod with his trailer. Uh, I'm just going to go straight into it. There's a lot of things to go into this guy, so I'm not going to take too much time. Uh, I'm going to do a quick size comparison here. Here we have Power Master Prime with his trailer. Pretty much covers him all the way there. Um, but he is slightly taller, just by such. And we have here, for your new Transformer fans, animated jazz. As you can see, in fact, I do take the trailer out of the way. They are pretty much same length, uh, obviously taller as being a truck. And same mod. This Prime is probably the first original Transformers. Deluxe figures we call nowadays. Um, he's a bit deluxe size, of course, he gets added on with the trailer, which is a lot bigger figure. So, yeah, that brings it in just a second. So, see, I mean, just slightly taller than the original G1. Um, a little bit of a close up view from here in his truck mods. So, love the chrome on his grill, see it shining, um, chrome wheels, chrome gas tank, uh, typical generation 1 colours, the red, the blue, we won't look too much detail to see. We've all seen Prime before, and the short small stats I mentioned before, which are also chrome. Let's go straight to the transformation. So, we're going to take this back part of the cab and bend the legs down, like so. We're going to take the back end and fold them out to his feet. Like that. Um, front section where the headlights are, we are going to actually open them up. Like this, that can create the after side. In the back, we can pull this apart. So you can see his head. Um, as most people do, and I think I recommend if you do get this guy, keep his fists in the front part of his cab, just easy storage. And then what we do is kind of pop the head from behind to the top, and there's a little tab just at the front which kind of pops in there, keeps it nice and tidy. His headlights from before, we grab one of his fists, pop in here. And same with this side, fist in there as well. And that is simply your G1 Optimus Prime in robot mods. That's what the great thing this figure was for playability. Within a couple of, sort of seconds you had from the truck to Prime himself. Nowadays Transformers are a bit more complicated but I love that. They obviously be a bigger kid. Um, when, the, when these original came out, like the Diaclone range, um, obviously weren't intended to be Transformers. Check on Wikipedia, just type in Diaclone, you'll see all about how the Diaclone became the Transformers range. Um, but yeah, these guys were originally meant to have little men that sit inside them. You'll see a bit more of that in the trailer. Um, but I think these are very great figures. you see the detail a bit closer up. And it's, obviously the cab's the same. Uh, just got a lovely head sculpt there. Kind of yellow eyes, um, chrome faceplate. There, so um, some nice stickers in there too. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a sort of size comparison for you now for sort of Jazz and Power Master Prime again. So bring Jazz up first, I think, and here we have them. Now you can pretty much see they are the same size, I would say. So Jazz just doesn't want to stand up now. Yeah, but in comparison, sort of G1 Prime was a bit of a deluxe size figure when it was released. Um, you could probably argue it's just slightly taller, but I think they're pretty much the same height when you kind of look at it that way. We'll bring in this guy who's a bit bigger, Power Master Prime, as you can see. It's like, well, I suppose he's a couple of years older, so he should have grown in that time, of course. And by the time he gets to sort of masterpiece, he's been around for a good couple of years, so I can see how they're going. Uh, but yeah, this guy is a lot taller, as you can see. Um, probably do a review of him later, but that's your little comparison I was going to give you. Um, go on, we'll come back to him in just a second. Uh, I'm just going to kind of bring out the trailer for you just now, and we'll have a little look at the actual um, the details. I mean, the the prime figure alone is worth the money for getting this guy. This is just the biggest bonus you get the trailer. Uh, we have these kind of bits at the side, which kind of make it a bit more stable. And there we go. Uh, primarily grey, like I say, good indentations in there. We've got a lovely sort of sticker which mimics the cartoon series. Um, the signal there, of course, we'll never point out in the last figure as well. It's got rubber tyres, don't know if I did or not. But yep, very detailed, very lovely um, companion to, of course, Prime's trailer uh, truck mod. This simply does flip down and it does come with a little guy in here, if he's not deciding to come out. Uh, we've got Roller. Um, this guy also comes in blue. Very nice detail in. This did actually come as, like I say before, Diaclone, look it up. 
the sort of little micro main that used to sit in here. Um, you have these little bits at the back which plugged in to like the push mechanism that's inside the trailer. I'll show you in just a second, but probably a few on wheels. Uh, along with that, I'll just quickly open this up here. So we'll get a little look inside the trailer. Lots of good bits and pieces like Christmas Day already. Um, it does actually come with four of these missiles, which do actually fit into this kind of robot. I've got two in there already. It also does come with this, this is what we're going to show with roller. Um, roller's got a little hole in the back, which you can pretty simply plug this into. And if you need some energy on out in the field, then roller can simply come along and revive Prime or any other robots with that, so that's pretty cool. Um, also does come with Prime's gun, his blaster. Very accurate to the actual cartoon. In fact, if I bring out this kind of comic, so see the sign, there's the gun, the gun there. So yeah, lovely detail in there also. But there's also a little peg in the back here which can kind of pop the, the gun into. Which I'll probably fill it during the review, so I'll just take it out. Uh, main kind of main feature in the truck mode and trailer mode that's what makes it so much value for money, is this guy. The kind of repair drone, battle drone. So he's got his missiles there. Can in fact rotate 360 degrees, so he can shoot pretty much anywhere. Um, little black tabs on the side, so just put these to... So yeah, cool missile action. Uh, very flexible movability. Um, he does actually have a kind of a long extendable claw arm, which does in fact open up. So that's more for his repair, but I would say that side. And it's got a radar too, which there's a little grey wheel at the back. If you get it right, you can actually spin this round too. Which is pretty nice. Uh, lovely orange cockpit, which I see once again, micro men, if you had any of them. Diaclone, you can fit them in there. Uh, there's also a little kind of blue place you can set them in too, and over there. So this pretty much became a kind of battle station. Um, and, and obviously not so much Prime, you never see it so much in the cartoon in that manner of speaking, but when this toy originally came out for the Diaclone series you're meant to have those little figures that sat in here um, to kind of do its command base. The detail on this is excellent, uh, great stickers, very colourful, very reminiscent of like the 80s toys, very bright, we've got kind of some charts in here, some diagnostics, so like I say this was kind of meant to be run as a kind of operation base. But also, but this guy is actually sitting upright like so. Prime ever damaged. Now I don't know if this originally was meant to be intended for the figure, or if this is just maybe something that people have came up with. I've never really seen any official pictures and boxes in, in this form. But Prime's damaged, then Prime can of course just send a stand in here. The little claw I showed you before can kind of come down, repair Prime, and um, get him ready for battle with Megatron once again. So that's kind of the a little feature. Say if put a comment if you know if it was originally meant to be designed for that or if it's just something that when Transformers came out um, they decided to include that. Uh, this is the little black bit I was talking about earlier on with roller, just some here. Little tabs I said before can kind of fit it in here. And then there's a little button at the back used to push, and then it's just to push the whole thing forward to get the roller out. The reissue version, I don't know if the twenty fifth anniversary one has it or not, but the reissue doesn't have a spring, so it doesn't actually work. Um, but that's really all I'm going to say about Prime. I, I, was, I suppose I can do some articulation. I mean, it is pretty good. So you, it also no le bend the legs, his legs can just go back for the transformation, not forward. Obviously, his toes bend the transformation. Uh, arms, as actually surprisingly, do go. Sorry, my hands get them in there, but it does go full 360 degrees. Obviously rotation at wrists, considering they come off. Um, no head movement at all. Uh, when these figures originally came out, there wasn't so much of the articulation that we have nowadays. I mean, like somebody like him, I mean, Christ, you'd be struggling to actually find a way he doesn't move. Um, all the movements you generally find are due to the transformation of the figure. I mean, this is probably the only exception, is that he bends at the elbows like so. Uh, not, but most of it is due to like the transformation itself. Um, and when you think about when these were made back in the 80s, these are actually um, extremely great feats of engineering. I mean, so simplistic, but so much fun. I'd highly recommend anyone that's obviously younger kids that there may have not picked up G1 Prime before, 
definitely get this guy when they reissue him. Um, he is a must for any Transformers fan, as most of you say. Uh, very good nostalgic for those big kids like myself that uh, like to actually play with the toys again. I did actually have the original version of this. Well, it was apparently broken so my brother said, but I actually believe later years I found out that his mate actually stole it. So is that good that kids were stealing Prime off other kids? How good's that? And there's his little gun in there as well. So, like I say, I highly recommend this guy. Pick him up if you can find him. Uh, I think he will be quite hard to find. I think he should be on all everyone's, if you've not got already, everyone's Christmas list. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Leave a comment, as I said, if you want to see some more in this video. Subscribe, of course. Got a lot more videos up and coming shortly. But this is basically all but blur, saying catch you later, enjoy the rest of your night.